Good morning. This is Ankur, and I'm the general manager of the Raj Palace Hotel in Jaipur in India. And you've got some uh, exciting news here at ITB. You, you've been nominated in the World Travel Awards, world's leading suite. Yeah, we are uh, nominated for the world's uh, leading suite. We are nominated for world's leading heritage hotel. And we are also nominated for Asia's leading suite this year. I mean, the one that's particularly interesting is your new presidential suite that's been nominated. Sure. Um, our new presidential suite is called the Maharaja's Pavilion, which is a um, four-floor suite. And uh, it, is, it is a hotel in itself. It has four levels. Uh, it is a private entrance, a private elevator. You go and uh, come and check in, and you'll go to a private lobby where about 10 butlers will be waiting for you, holding juices or towels and all that. And then you take your elevator back up to the second level where you have a private uh, living area and two chambers. Um, on the third level, we have a private home theater and a dining room. And on the fourth level, we have a spa, a private uh, swimming pool, a private terrace, one more um, bedroom, and a home theater. So. And how would you describe the feel of it? It's a very unique, almost palatial absolutely, experience. Absolutely, absolutely. It was actually the chamber of the Maharaja itself. Maharaja in India is called the king uh, of the family. So uh, uh, that was his uh, pavilion before, and now we have renovated it up and converted it up into a suite, which is uh, absolutely beautiful. It is. Uh, um, one of the levels is about 200 years old. Um, we have um, um, very, very old antique uh, furniture museums inside. And one of the beds actually belongs to the king of the family. You know, So we have a private, um, we have a personal logo attached to one of our uh, uh, suite. And um, it's, it's very royal in itself. Now, last year you won the world's leading uh, heritage hotel for the Raj Palace. What makes it such a unique experience? It's more than just a hotel. It's, it's basically uh, the services, you know, the, the kind of service that we give to our guests. They go back and they say, okay, we have stayed in such and such hotel. And uh, the service was extraordinary there. They get personal um, service, personal attention, very warm welcome. So these are the things which really matters, you know. They go back they go back to the travel agent and they say, oh, we had stayed in Raj Palace. And it was really, really absolutely beautiful. From the whole trip, we like the Raj Palace, for example. So, you know, the travel agents nominate us up um, for um, this kind of uh, category of awards. And many of the travel agents have did so in the past. And that's how we got it. <laughs> and this is the third time we have got this award. This is uh, Indro, you know. Uh, we have got it in 2007, 2008, and 2009. Third time we have got this award. So, which is really, really rare and unique in itself. And how about Jaipur? How would you describe that? Um, Jaipur is a pink city. I'm actually from Jaipur. I love the city. Um, this was um, uh, actually the Raj Palace is uh, even older than the Jaipur city. Jaipur city was built in 1729, and the palace was built in 1727. So, this is the most historical building in Jaipur. But Jaipur came into existence when uh, one of the warriors, you know, from the Chomu family, which the hotel belongs to. Um, um, they have done a war with Afghan, Afghanistan before, and they've got a lot of wealth along with them in the war. So, you know, then the, uh, the, the Amber, um, Amber family, they have decided to open Jaipur city as the new city, and then the whole city came into existence. Uh, the architecture is uh, much like, uh, if you go to France, uh, Lyon, you know, the architecture belongs. It's, it's, it's Some of the time it's the same, but uh, it's basically pink, uh, beautiful, beautiful architecture and beautiful city. That's an exciting time as well for India tourism, sure. particularly the World Travel Awards are coming there later this year for the Asia ceremony. What do you think India is doing right at the moment to continue doing so well despite the, the downturn globally? Um, I, I think it's, uh, uh, it's the whole of Asia, you know. Um, Asian hospitality is very warm and uh, probably, um, um, you know, it's, it's, it's uh, the growing economy and all that, so people want to come there, do business with India. So even the business and my segment is growing a lot in India. It's, it's, it's overall, basically. And for Raj Palace, what are your key markets? Is it um, the local market or is it international or is it a mix uh, of both? It's, it's basically a mix, but ours is uh, mainly international market because uh, in, in domestic market, people come there to do uh, royal weddings, for example. People who are staying abroad, they come uh, to Raj Palace to do their daughter's and son's wedding, uh, to have that kind of feel. But it's, it, we have mainly leisure market and up market from um, all over Europe, uh, America, and Middle East, and Russia. OK, Ankur, congratulations on your nominations, and look forward to seeing you Thanks. at the World Travel Awards later this year. Thank you. Thank you so much.